What is up guys, this is Andres Penoso Reviews and in this video I will be showing you my Michael Myers life size prop. my Michael Myers life-size prop and I have done some modifications for this one uh, if you have seen my earlier videos uh, if you can see Michael Myers in the background he's just really standing plainly so I modified some I modified a mannequin and I'll show it to you later what the mannequin looks like without the clothes so I will be undressing Michael Myers a little bit later just to show you what I did so uh, let's start off with a mask. This is a Sinister Studio uh, S75C mask, if I'm not mistaken. It's purely handmade. It looks great. I love it. So uh, where's the sign there? It says Sinister Studio. There. Uh, I brought this. A long time ago and I love the the mask the way it looks the way it looks like and uh, the head of this mannequin is really small so I pop in some uh, newspaper so that it would fit the mask perfectly as you can see there's the eyes in there you can see how really small it is the, the head of the mannequin Now the clothing is just some some uh, coveralls that I purchased locally in an online shop here in the Philippines. And the black shirt is just some old shirt that I put inside the coveralls. The hand, as you can see, there's the hand that I cut off one of the modifications I made. This one is, uh, I did it with alginate. I casted my hand with alginate. And uh, this is a Plaster of Paris. I poured in some Plaster of Paris in the cast and that's what it looked like. And I painted it flesh together with the skin tones there. And uh, the knife is something that I did personally. The silver here is made out of wood and I painted it uh, gray and then applied some varnish. And this one is cardboard here, the handle. Uh, it is cardboard and uh, I, I put uh, this, this cardboard was also I made it strong using uh, paper mache and I painted it black and also applied some varnish. And for Michael Myers to hold the knife, I put some papers inside the hand so that he could hold the knife perfectly in there. I know it's not the best knife in the world. I'm still going to purchase a knife in the future, the official Michael Myers knife. but. This is just a temporary knife for Michael Myers that I did. That's the coveralls in there. And down here is the boots. This is just some old boots I found lying around the house. This is this was formerly owned by my brother. I put it there. No one's using it, so I just put it in as clothing of Michael Myers. That's how he looks like, Michael Myers in there. Just to show you. And let me get away farther here. That's what he looks like, Michael Myers life size. I'm really happy with the modification here. And uh, I'm really happy that I I modified the arms and the hand here. I was inspired by Scott Kennard when, with his uh, life-size Michael Myers uh, figure. 
I was inspired by his modification with his Michael Myers. So this is what I did also with mine. The dress Michael Myers that I will be showing you, uh, it, I filmed it uh, like four weeks ago. So you will see a huge cabinet here because uh, it was filmed four weeks ago and I just recently put this smaller cabinet here like two weeks ago. So that's the reason why there is a huge cabinet here. So we will now proceed with the uh, undressing of Michael Myers. We will take a look at inside what I did with the mannequin. So as you can see, this is what Michael Myers looks like without the coveralls. So I put down the coveralls in there. And as you can see, he is just really a skinny mannequin. And uh, I just put bubble wraps for the shoulders to make him a little bit buff and to the traps I put some piece of papers in there and tape it into place and uh, also I put something in the back in there just to make him look like that he's leaning forward and uh, for the body I painted this flesh just to match up with the color of the hand since I casted a hand and I cut off the original hand and uh, what I painted, when I painted this flesh, I could not match the color of the of the paint I have with the paint of the mannequin. So I just decided to paint the body, the hand, and the hand over here, which is showing when the coveralls is in, is uh, put on. I painted it flesh. Yes, so that the color is the color of the skin matches so that's what it looks like when it's when it doesn't have a clues so my life size prop of michael myers is standing around six feet or six one because my height is 5 11 and uh, michael myers is quite taller than me and yeah that's gonna do it guys for this video my uh, michael myers life size prop and i'll see you on the next video.